What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back playing some Steel Beast. It has been a while since we played it. If you've never seen Steel Beast, it is the tank simulator. If it looks familiar, if you served in the US military or a NATO military, that's probably because they use it for all of their tank and armored vehicle simulations. So if you use the Abrams, this is the simulator that they use for the Abrams and things like that. Now this is pretty much the DCS of the tank world and it is absolutely crazy to play with a lot of depth to it. And it does add like a lot of things you can do with multiplayer, single player scenarios, missions, you name it, it's there. But the reason we're back to it now after so many years is because they just had a very large update which added drones. We got loiter munitions, switch blades, different labels, different types of drones. And this was spurred on by the, the most recent conflicts, including Russia and Ukraine, with the use of drones being just a normal occurrence with mechanized and armored warfare. They added them in so, you know, militaries and people can test out different scenarios, different uses for the drones, and approaches to them. But before we get started, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Nidax PC. Now, if you're like me and manage to break the unbreakable, like, AK-47s and FALs, so you don't want to risk your money building your own computer, Zydax is the company to go with for having your PC pre-built. They have incredible warranties and service. They have a lifetime warranty on parts. So if your GPU dies a few years after you get the PC from them, boom, they'll replace it for you. They have just amazing support. They build awesome PCs. Every PC I've ever gotten from them has just been a tank. And if, if there was ever any problem, boom, send it back. They take care of it free of charge, get it back. They test it, stress test it, make sure it works get it back in your hands. They are really the best PC builders out there. So make sure you guys check them out in the description below. So Steel Beast is a pretty intricate simulator. It is the DCS of tanks. Almost every tank, the interior, the gunner position, commander position has clickable buttons. Um, you can do things on keyboard command or you can click the stuff in the, in the tank and use the different scopes and the different uh, viewing areas and the gunner scopes, commander scopes, turn in, turn out, things like that. But it also has a lot of other things. You have everything from Bradleys, BMPs, T-72s, armored vehicles, infantry, scouts, artillery, helicopters. While you can't control the helicopters and certain artillery, you can control a lot of the vehicles. But what this kind of adds is a more dynamic, large-scale operation. While you don't have aircraft and things like that, you can control infantry. You can tell them where you, you can play it as either you crew your own tank or you can play it as kind of like an RTS, where you go around and tell what vehicles were to go, things like that, and how to do it. The type of drones that they added into this game make sense in the current battle space that we're seeing. We have man portable switchblades, which are not only a surveillance tool, but are a loiter munition. It's a suicide drone. Uh, you have things like the Labelle, which is also a drone that basically carries a rocket that you can just shoot right out the butt straight down and it's reloadable. There's quadcopters for surveillance. There's just a ton of different man portable drone systems. And the reason they're, they're being added into this is because this is a simulator. It is used by militaries around the world. And we're seeing more and more armor being destroyed by small quadcopters, small drones, things like that. And if Ukraine and Russia has taught us anything, it's that you know, you can have the greatest tank in the world, but it can be taken out by a $90 drone with a mortar round strung under it. <laughs> so this kind of allows not only militaries, but people to test theories, test how they're used in the battle space in a larger scale conflict with your normal battalion level um, operations and things like that to see kind of how you would gauge the battle space with those kind of threats in the area or how to use them in interesting ways to you know, move, uh, you know, mechanized infantry or armor columns through areas with, you know, using switchblades as a surveillance tool or using it to take out targets of opportunity like, oh, crap, we just found artillery, kill it, kill it with the drone, you know, things like that. And Steel Beast really is a great sim to test that out on. It has pretty much everything you would see, uh, bunkers, trenches, fortifications, infantry, artillery, you know, things like that. It has realistic armor penetration, armor on the vehicles, so if you hit an armored spot with not enough penetration with the drone, it won't go through and things like that. It has a lot of different tools to where you can actually kind of go around and test these kind of weapon systems out. I know this might be a f the first time a lot of people have seen Steel Beast, but this game has been a real simulator, has been around for a while, and it is pretty much the pinnacle 
of tank simulation. Gunner Heat PC is closing that gap really quickly. Um, they still have a ways to go before they reach all the stuff that you can do in Steel Beast, but the fact that Steel Beast is updating with the times and, you know, not keeping to the same old doctrine that's been around from the 80s and, you know, tried and true, but showing, hey, you know, drones are being used in armored warfare, maybe we should try them out, just shows that they're adapting with the times and keeping with the content. I mean, this is a very small team. They don't really push the public stuff too, too much. It's mainly the, you know, military stuff, but the fact that they're the game that we can all play is being updated with the times is awesome. Not only that, I can see some really cool missions people make mimicking Ukraine and Russia, uh, the whole war, using a lot of these systems. Uh, you know, you can now have access to the T-72 uh, B-3 and just different types of, of weapon systems that are used in the Ukraine or Russia conflict. A lot of these weapons too are being used. There's no high Mars though, unfortunately. There is M270s though. But um, there's just a lot of things you can do with it. There is a big community around it that does multiplayer, um, PvP multiplayer. There's just a lot really going on with Steel Beast. And now that we have drones, I see a lot more people are gonna flock to this because you can replicate a lot of the stuff that's happening around the world. But after using the drones in the game, I really do see how they have been game changers. Um, your normal T90 that you wouldn't be able to approach you know, with infantry, unless, you know, somebody had a gun to the back of your head, you can easily sit back with loiter munition, mark its position, call an artillery on it, or hell, even just be like, you know what, just waste the, waste the switchblade, smoke the tank, you know, and things like that. Or even use it to spot crazy stuff like fortifications, booby traps. I mean, there's, the list goes on and on, the things you can actually do with these drones. And I see how they're being used in the battle space so effectively and why they're so important and why they ended up in Steel Beast because they absolutely are game changers on the battlefield. It's real-time intelligence at a small infantry scale level that you don't need, you know, a drone that's being piloted from, you know, Creech Air Force Base halfway across the world that somehow gets past its information down a chain of command to the boots on the ground. When the boots on the ground can just throw a drone out the window, boom. All right, okay, that's the tank. The tank's around the corner. Okay, let's. if we go around this way, it's safe and we can hit the tank. It opens up a lot of opportunities. And I'm very interested to see how in Steel Beast it can be used to spot the battlefield, figure out what's going on, and find new avenues of approach to kind of get out of kill fields that you would originally walk into um, and, you know, when you're attacking a defended position. Steel Beast is still one of my favorite simulators. Uh, DCS and Steel Beast are really hand in hand. It kind of stinks they never did team up to uh, kind of create one big awesome game on DCS. But, you know, the, the world with DC, uh, DCS is getting larger and it's good to see that Steel Beast is also getting larger too. Um, you know, there's only so many vehicles they can put in and things like that, but it's good that I still see some love and that people are actually playing it and a lot of these systems are going to be used in some really cool PvP or milsim events and things like that. But let me know down below, what do you guys think of the drones being added into Steel Beast? What do you guys think of Steel Beast in general? Do you think it's awesome and just like the coolest tank thing ever? Um, if you guys want to try it, um, definitely it's a little pricey, but it's totally worth it, 100%. If you're a huge fan of DCS, you're going to be a huge fan of Steel Beast too. I guarantee it.